Welcome back to the Backmap Podcast. On episode two today, I have with me Game Staff, Blasteroid, and newly crowned CC Admin Vanguard, along with my co-host, Kita Zami, and me, Country. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about pretty much anything. A lot of things. Pretty much anything <laughs> our very ADHD-riddled minds decide to go with, because we've been here for 20 minutes, and we haven't done anything productive. <laughs> 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 no, you can't expose. Yeah, that's like that. all right. Yeah, so stay tuned to the oh, end oh, for those oh, outtakes. Oh, oh, that is the, that's not. It's okay. It's okay. We the, live. Those, those, those <laughs> yeah. civilians will be fine. Um. So, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Tell us a little bit about about yourselves, about what you do in the community, how you found the game, and what you do today. Go ahead, boss. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Um. I'm Blasteroid. I uh, I started playing the game. I think it was is either like late 2016 or early 2017, and I actually don't even remember how. I, I think I think it was a friend that um, got me into the game. I, I think it's been a you know it's, it's been a long time, so I don't really remember. Um, and then I became staff in like what was it? 2022, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was like, um, yeah, it was like a year. Oh before dear God. Me, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah was... It, I think it was actually a, almost exactly a year before you vanguard. We can we can check that. Yeah. I love uh, the absolute uh, awkward silence, making that so much harder for him to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Just everybody like, keep going. <laughs> uh, March 2022, blast. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, then when did you get hired? So your uh, game no, staff. Yeah, end of November, twenty three, twenty two. And Vi Vanguard is since November twenty two. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Vanguard, you are. What's your role in the community? Uh, I've recently, as of like a week ago, been promoted to admin, which oversees Woo! all the departments of the staff team <laughs> as well as ba I I oversee basically everything. Um. That includes things like the CC program, general, just general community stuff, the entire staff team, all, all, all that shit. Um, I'm sure you're gonna have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> I, uh, well, I, as I said earlier, I wake up every day to like thirty pings, so you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, I, as stated just then, I was hired in November, uh, specifically the 29th of November, 2022. And fun little fact about me: um, I became a support staff team leader exactly a year after I was hired, oh, and I nice. became. Yeah, and then I became admin exactly six months after that. <laughs> that's actually pretty yeah. cool. It's, yeah, <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, I like I say I'm I'm Vanguard. I oversee everything, um, and I'm I'm here to answer questions and have fun today. All right, all right. and possibly commit war crimes. Eh, we don't talk about that. No, we we'll, we'll wait after the podcast. It's not. For that. It's not a war crime. Oh, oh, oh see, no. just like that, war crime <laughs> number one. There he goes. Oh my god. Oh, look what you he did. Was, uh, he was uh, unarmed. The British rip. The British fighting against the French all over again. Huh? <laughs> all right. So, do you want to start us off with the topic, country? You know, it probably would have helped if I didn't close my DMs and remove my one source of questions. All right, well, I think I have the list right here. All right. I think we've already answered how long have you been staffed. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, the next question is country. You came up with it. I'm not sure uh, what you mean by yeah, it. Yeah, I so can, you I can have to it, yeah. explain um, it. So you both have been staffed for, you're not brand new. So obviously you've seen, you've seen these yeah. stuff. Uh, have you seen, how has it been uh, watching like the uh, staff team change? Have you seen a change? in staffing style with how the because the game has been changing a lot in the past few years have you seen a changing staffing like a change in staffing style or personality or quality of staff during those changes or has it seemed to remain the same even I mean, in the past year so, like back when i was staff i think we were a little bit more lenient with overall like moderation like moderation in general we were just a little bit more lenient with stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, and I personally didn't really like that. Um, I I think that if you you know you're doing something you're not supposed to do, you should you know 
face the consequences and have those consequences actually mean something. And it shouldn't yeah. be like, um, kind of like a slap on the wrist, like, mm. they think, like they were back in the day. Or like in other communities, you'll see like someone like you know says something discriminatory, and all they all they get is you know a, like a warning. That's like that's all they get. They don't even get like a mute or anything. Like I don't understand how these communities, you know, I don't understand how they have this many people when they don't have like that they don't enforce rules. Things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it was it like a uh, pretty rough back then? Was the community like harder to communicate with? Because it's pretty it's pretty bad right now. The the communication between the stylist staff and the community, I feel like mm-hmm. something broke down. Was it worse before? Um. So to be fair, I haven't been the most engaged with the community. I, I, that's <clears throat> one thing I choose not to do <laughs> because, well, I mean, the last time I did that, I started getting flooded with DMs and started getting harassed so i was like yeah i don't i don't want to yeah, deal with that anymore it's probably um, so so you, you, in a, you in a way it's it's kind of hard to i don't even know how much i'm allowed to say at this point oh okay um, okay but like now you're staring at me this is, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> keep going I'm just um, sure you yeah no pressure no pressure keep talking um, <laughs> Vanguard, that's too close. You, we talked about this before. Notice he didn't yell at me. Um, I think that at least since like when I became staff, I think the community was in a it was in a really like weird spot. Um, like if I remember correctly, like the Juke drama had like that was like right around when I um, became staff. The whole like how he got outed for being a um, a weirdo, and mm. I'm not gonna say exactly. Oh, YouTube, yeah, no, you don't. You don't have to. Yeah, say yeah. It. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, and so like that. I think that was when. I mean, after that, you know, the community was in, in a way, it was in like um, it was kind of like on fire. And we've gone through so many controversies in the last like few years, right? <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> Hold on. These guys. Uh, overall, I think um, the behavior in the community has definitely changed as of recently, and that's due to uh, obviously big changes within the game itself. Managing that has been peculiar. Um, we've been focusing a lot more on toxicity than anything mm-hmm. um, recently due to that major change. Um, obviously, we've had things like the Suggestions Channel open up, which is a brilliant thing oh, that yeah. we finally decided to do. Um, the the way we're managing that is it has its own set of rules about the suggestions itself, and then obviously it's still following um, Discord TOS and yeah. uh, the server rules. In terms of the staff itself, there hasn't really been much of a change um, over the past year. Um, Since I was yeah. staff, there's been a yeah. there's been a big change, but I can't actually say anything about that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a couple of things that we can't say, but overall, not that much of a change over the past year. It's kind of surprising a little bit. Um, yeah, we've changed a bunch of policies and stuff, but that's, yeah, that's besides fair. the point. I can't talk about them, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but yeah, the staff has generally always remained the same, uh, at least since I've been on staff. Um, the management-wise, it's always pretty much stayed the same as well. Um, and then you can have me on there. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you guys know how to make and take jokes like that. You guys oh, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah, are you amazing. You should have seen us back when Vanguard <laughs> first got hired. We were like crapping all over each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, you can see our DMs right now. Actually, you can't. But <laughs> actually, well, what can't wait? I, I wonder. Actually, give me a minute. <laughs> What's in our DMs? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. All right. All right. All right. There's no one. <laughs> Back on topic a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, how is it being staff? Like, is it a good experience? Are you treated differently by the community or even content creators? Is it something that you wish that you find is 
very different to be in the community? Like, uh, do you feel like people treat you differently? That's mostly the question. So, obviously, being on being on the staff team, whether you are a game staff, a service staff, a Reddit staff, or a support staff, whatever you, you don't, want. We don't talk about the Reddit staff. No. Yeah, we don't talk about those that. are those are quote unquote <laughs> people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, who Reddit. told you? Ralph told you that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, dude. Holy shit! Maybe him and Ralph are the same person. Oh God! <laughs> but now, um, obviously, no matter what role you have in staff, you have power over the community. Um, again, whether it's in game, in Discord, wherever it is, I think that um, honestly doesn't affect things too much. Hmm. Um, the way the community treats us has always been a little bit. Uh, I suppose demoralizing, especially towards service staff, with how yeah, um, uh, with how oh, what's the word? Um, you're you're very front facing. You yeah. you deal with yeah. the brunt of their yeah. That's that's backlash. And... That's where all the aggression is from. That's where they're most vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the people that are you know, <clears throat> with like if the extra like, like the service staff, they're you know they're facing the. Like say something huge, like a huge controversy happens, right? Then they have to go and deal with that. Yeah. Game staff yeah. don't necessarily have to because you know all we do is moderate the game. You might see that in game chat, but you're not gonna, you know, yeah. you're not gonna, you don't However, have to deal with yeah. as much. Yeah. What I will say is that the you know these comments are all about like the negative aspects um, of the community, the negative people in the community. Honestly, it's like genuine opinion. A lot of the community, the majority of the community, are lovely. No, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Take, yeah, take you two for example. You, you're both just regular community members. Um, of course, one is a CC, but um, I'm too stupid it, to it, be considered special. So keep going. <laughs> 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 no, nah, like it's, it's, you know, you're both members of, members of the community, and you're both lovely people. From what I've seen, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't know anything about behind the scenes. I'm I'm some yeah, people yeah, on the Discord. <laughs> some people on the Discord do not like me because uh some people some people just uh they say some some quite offensive stuff and I try and stop them and uh they just don't like me for that. They call me a snitch. <laughs> I mean Ah, a type of so mini modding I... to an extent. Mm hmm. A type of mini modding to an extent. Uh, not really. No. I mean, when people are just saying, it to... it's, if you're reporting it's, it to it's moderators, a... it's not really yeah, wrong. exactly. I'm reporting it to moderators. I am not yeah. like uh... making drama out of it. No, no, no. Yeah, Kita but cares. Still, it's... Kita cares much more about the experience of the average person than most people, and it, oh, I really it do. Drives some people against you, whether or not it's <laughs> intentional. It's just people being I mean... people. From what I've seen, no matter what you do, there are going to be people that don't like you. Yeah. Like, whatever. Like, regardless of if you're defending the little guy or the average community, like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I've, um, like, there's one guy that was just spamming the N word in game chat. Oh, God. I, yeah. You know, obviously, obviously, I muted him. Yeah. And there was some guy that was like, hey, bro, why'd you mute him? Why'd you mute my friend? You you shouldn't have done that. Oh. I'm like, you're <laughs> kidding me, right? <laughs> <laughs> he violated four different TOSs and not even my own. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He broke every rule like, in the book. <laughs> he, he broke almost every rule in the book. And you're expecting me to not? Like, like come on. And... You know, it's stuff like that, right? It's like, you're just trying to do the right thing and People will get mad at you. It's, it, I've chosen to not. Um, obviously, I, I make jokes out of all those people. I every single time you get something like that, I'm like, "Haha, look at this funny goober!" Like they, yeah. you know, they decided to break the rules, and now they're complaining about it. But at the end of the day, you know, as long as you don't pay them too much attention, and really just, you know. As long as you don't, I want to say what value what they say, but like, um, take it to heart. Yeah, exactly. Take yeah. it. Don't take it to heart. Just don't. You know, it's people it's on not... the internet saying things without consequences. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, you know, there's also nothing you can do about it. It's just, yeah. it's just the way it is. They're they're always gonna be there, and you just gotta deal with them. Yeah. 
It's amazing how frequently someone will be like, hey, my friend did this, and then it's going to be the dumbest sentence you've ever heard in your entire life. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) I only cheated once. They're about to defend their friend for the dumbest thing you've ever heard. You're like, dude, what? What? What did you? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, he only defra- he only downloaded hacks and used them. I don't know why he's banned. He only distributed F thirty five documents. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, now this isn't this isn't the War Thunder case. Yeah, okay, we're Thunder. not they, we're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think if I was to give the community a message in regards to this, I would say, remember. On the staff team, no matter who it is, what position they hold, um, no matter what rank they are, that kind of shit, we're just here to do a job, man. Yeah. Like we, you know, <laughs> it, it, it may be volunteer, but we, you know, it, we're just here to do a job. We're doing it because we enjoy it. Um, and we, again, we're just here to do a job. That, <laughs> if, that... if, if if you genuinely feel that your moderation is like false or something, you can bring it up and we'll handle it. But other than that, we're just here to do a job. Yeah. So. That actually leads really cleanly to another topic country wrote down for us. Yeah. Uh, do you want to say it? Um, so how does, so, I mean, you kind of answered it a little bit before we started officially doing the start of this podcast, but uh, the question is, how does being silent staff kind of affect your personal enjoyment of the game? Like game staff, obviously you're going to have a, uh, game staff is going to have a different experience than server staff because your kind of obligations yeah. are tied to two different separate like two different things but as stylist staff in general how do you think it personally affects your enjoyment like you log on so, you get on the game and have a reaction so being staff never really affected the way that i enjoyed the game or how much i enjoyed the game it was more like you know how you um like after playing a game, like I mean, I've been playing this game for you know seven years now. Um, after seven years, and almost you know, I probably have three thousand hours in this game. I, you know, there's always going to be burnout once you get mm-hmm. to that point. I, I think that's the point where that I've hit at this point. Yeah. Um, that's just, and I mean, there are days where I'm like, yeah, I want to hop on Phantom Forces. I want to you know, make some. Uh, I want to try and, you know, just have fun with friends or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, there's also days where I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't want to <laughs> play. I am, I am good. Yeah. I want to, I want to so, go play another game that I can rip my hair out, like Tarkov. I'm pretty like, sure every single Phantom Forces player ever can relate to the, <laughs> to that <laughs> statement. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but I mean, if like there were there were days where I was playing, you know. 10 plus hours a day good great granted that you know not not the healthiest thing only days come on not even weeks what oh okay (laughs) (laughs) i mean no i mean like there was like i did that for probably a stretch of like a month and a half oh i just had it was it was during the summer Ah. and it was during covid so i had you know absolutely nothing to do um i wonder what could have contributed to said burnout (laughs) that's 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 the funny thing right burnout happened like it, it was probably like twenty, like probably right before I got on staff. Okay. Burnout. I started experiencing burnout, and then being on staff like helped. It was interesting, right? Being and then getting accepted onto staff kind of like helped rejuvenate my interest and enjoyment for the game. And then oh, it's kind of like a new purpose. So yeah, exactly. So what you're saying basically is that you were playing. You've been playing for seven years, and you've you were burning out, but it had nothing to do with like a uh, being staff. And then when you got on the staff team, uh, it was like lessened. It was, it was, I was, it was like I was given given a new purpose. I didn't just have to, because there's I guess something else I could do in the game. I could just sit there and watch chat while you know watching YouTube or something, or yeah. like. I could still have, I could still join the game and not feel like ripping my hair out, yeah. right? Oh, that's um, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously, you know, I, I guess it's different for other people. It's different for everyone. But I usually, when I'm in games that I'm, uh, the in games that I play, so like, uh, like Tarkov, Battlefront 2, um, <gasps> Risk, <laughs> risk of rain too. Um, you know, you hit those peaks and those lows, and 
right now I'm just in at least for Phantom Forces right now I'm at one of those lows, um, and I you know that's fine. It's just eventually someday, probably within the next month, maybe a month and a half, whatever. I don't actually know, but you know within the next little while I'm gonna uh, my interest will probably hit another peak and yeah. I'll start playing a lot more or a lot more than I do now. <laughs> that was but actually I think it's just yeah, that was a way better answer than I was anticipating though. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. way more positive I mean, than I thought that yeah. was going to be. I mean that's just that's just my experience with it. I don't know Vanguard's the same way but um, Yeah, what what about you Vanguard? How how did becoming staff affect your enjoyment of the game? Honestly, not much. Um, it didn't change. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> It's like, I suppose the biggest thing for me is is like the stuff we get as staff that has affected. Ah. Um, oh, yeah, like like the benefits that we get as staff. Works. Um, <laughs> yeah, like like this thing. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> or, uh, this thing <laughs> that you've um, almost killed Kita twice with. Yeah, I actually. <laughs> oh, he, he actually hit me another time. I boy. watched you. I watched his health bar go to like twelve health, and I got really scared. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's like it's like the you know these weapons are cool. Uh, fucking hell, sorry. These weapons and stuff are like really cool. There's a bunch of different ones that you can use. Yeah. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Like oh, everyone's seen the rail. Yeah, everyone's seen the rail gun, but like no mm. one's seen the golden shorty. That kind of thing. Yeah, those have like genuinely increased my um, like enjoyment of the game. But. I have also been in the same boat as Blast in the sense of I have not actively played the game in like quite a few months. Like I hopped on earlier today, I played a match, and then like midway through the second one, I got off. Yeah. I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's one of those where like I am just at a burnout now, especially I, th- I think with being so involved with the staff team and the community, especially as an admin. You, you do get burnt out like quite imagine, a lot yeah yeah there are there are one or two admins that actually do play the game quite a lot i can tell you that a lot like division plays the game quite a lot mm. um, but it, yeah i'm just at a burnout level right now yeah and and it happens I, think to everyone. I, I think it's worth noting that as game staff you need to um like every time there's an update i may i i take the time to play at least 10 hours after of like have 10 hours of gameplay within the first um within two weeks of said update um so you're have, I mean, so that i know what's going on yeah. and especially since um like as as a game staff team leader you have to be like you have to be a resource for your staff members and so hmm. right now i mean we haven't had any updates and like i'm i got promoted to game staff TL when Vanguard got promoted to admin, which was like about a week ago. Sweet. Um, so at the moment I haven't, you know, but as even before then, because I wanted to keep myself at a, like keep myself updated to the game as it was getting updated. I was like, Hey, I need to, every time there's a major update, Anytime, like, you know, anything major has happened, I'm going to spend 10 hours out of, you know, within two weeks. You know, this is at just about an hour a day. It's mm-hmm. not that bad. So um, just, like, to get a feel of, of To get a what feel of what's changed. Like and, and, like, also, because there's some cheats that, you know. Oh, that could um, pop up from a vulnerability. Uh, vulnerability. Um, n- n- not necessarily. Yes, that can happen. But it's also, like... Like take um take weapon mods like so recoil like um mm. if someone's modifying the recoil of their gun mm-hmm. um well what if in a recent balancing patch recoil of that gun was massively reduced oh right? yeah take and, the um take the latest movement update for uh, exactly no yeah oh yeah, yeah. especially a lot of us yeah <laughs> yeah that was bad a lot of us <laughs> are accustomed to this kind of stuff now but yeah. yeah. At first, we're like, "Oh my god, it looks it kind of looks like people are speed hacking." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it does sometimes, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> like, and and there are also like weird movement glitches. Like, 
you, I'm pretty sure you could like run around, like you could run around sliding on the ground, like, yep. a, like a snake. Yep. Um, that was that was jarring the first time I ever saw that. That was something. yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, you have to be you have to be very vigilant about that type of stuff. Um, now I don't. Um, if I'm gonna be honest here, taking the time to like learn every single balancing thing that happened in the game, not exactly a priority. Oh, no, I um, can't. Yeah, that'd be hell. Yeah, no. Recoil kind of makes sense mm -hmm. for the guns, but also, you know, like, like when, like, like when Vanguard said with the movement thing, that was a, that was a huge thing. Um, and we needed to adapt. Be extra weird, kind of. Yeah. Kinda. yeah. Um, and to make sure that you're not accidentally, you know, false negatives. You're getting false yeah, negatives. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to false ban someone just because you're uninformed on the current situation. Yeah, I mean that, I've, and and you don't want to I've, not I've, ban. I've seen someone that happen in Apoc, dude. <laughs> I've seen that happen in Apoc, dude. Like <laughs> someone got flung. Like so, at, at one point, you could um, if you you stuck a car up to a building and um stood on the back of it, and you had your friend punch the car, it would fling the car and you up into the air. Okay. And so there's an ATC tower um, at one of the uh, locations. Big tower. Well, we did that. Flung my friend up into the control tower. And the people that were in there camping thought he was cheating. <laughs> and, and they're like, oh my god, we're going to report you. So he got, he got reported and he got banned. And then we sent in the clip of like, hey... Um, this is what we did. We used the glitch to <laughs> glitch our friend up there, and then eventually, you know, they unbanned him. But like, it, it's stuff like that, right? You yeah. know. Um, talking actually, that actually like gives me an idea. Um, I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot lately. Um, over the last two months, I've been streaming almost daily, and um, I'm really wondering if now that you're talking about the 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 more in-game side of moderation vote kick system the the vote kick system do you think that oh, no. people are using it <laughs> too much or do you think that people have like really bad paranoia when it comes to hackers I, like um i mean people are way too uninformed people don't know yeah. what the heck to look for people see like the especially you see a lot of it between like rank 30 and 70 where it's kind of that in between of where people are starting to feel decent with the game but they also don't know the unique and kind of in-depth mechanics, and they start getting yeah. They start getting they start... really like, well, I I get thirty kills, so this person is doing this, and they're clearly cheating. And there's not, they're not informed on how to truly like what to truly look for, or kind of the different oh. nuances that actually make a cheater. Exactly, and so Go one ahead. thing I try to I try to give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Because mm -hmm. we were all like those players at one point. Um, and say back when you were, you know, a new player and you had that type of, and you were, you know, learning all of these different mechanics of the game and you didn't know everything, would you have wanted to get moderated when, you know, you were just thinking, oh, when, you know, you're just like a little Timmy who's trying to, trying to figure out how the game works, mm -hmm. right? Would you, like, that's the way that I look at it is like, I don't. When I was, you know, first starting out, I wouldn't have wanted to, like, for something that's not my fault, right? Yeah. It's just, I think that um, people, they don't, I don't think that vote kick is overused. Mm -hmm. I just think that we need to be um, conscientious of the fact that, like you said, people don't, they don't have all that knowledge. Yeah. Um, they, yeah, I they're... think that. Yes, while, while vote kicking, like getting vote kicked from a lobby while you're doing really good can be incredibly annoying. I get that. Um, that's happened. I can't tell you how many times it's happened to me. It's, yeah. <laughs> it used to happen to me all the time. It's happened to everyone, it, man. Yeah. Um, you can't let it, you know, it, you know, obviously don't go after those players, but no, um, no, no. Yeah. I think that you need to, you know, like put it in perspective, right? Make put sure yourself that in their shoes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, Yes, being a rank, being a lower or mid rank, and seeing someone 
with the advanced get movement tech of like a rank three hundred or something like that. I can't I can't blame him. Yeah. And I mean at that at that point is there something to think about, right? I mean obviously not not I everyone's not. gonna <laughs> um I just think that people need to be a little bit more understanding of where other mm. people are coming from. People take being vote kicked so incredibly seriously in this game. Yeah, I've like it, I've received yeah I've received it's death threats <laughs> for, being, for vote kicking someone. <laughs> like, yeah, all you're doing is being moved to I a different think, lobby. Like it is not that I deep. Think, it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. And the problem is, I think that I mean, there's a big community of Phantom Forces who take pride in getting like really high kill games. Yeah, 100 kill games, 150 kill games now are getting a lot more common since the respawn changes, and um. Some some people really like getting those and are trying to achieve new highs. And when you get kicked out of lobby because you're doing really good after like trying really hard to get a, a new like personal best, I feel like people just take it too personally. Once again, um, though, I think it boils down to reason because if it's someone like get them out of here, they're too good. Then obviously it's okay. Yeah, to be upset about that. But if it's some poor person that sees someone pulling 120 kills 10 minutes into the game. And, they and think thinking they're aimbotting. Yeah. I, I think it boils down to circumstance. Yeah. So what I will say about that on the moderation side is when it comes to vote kicks as a whole, we know. <laughs> but simply, <laughs> we know. We know. Um, there, there are a bunch of different reasons why people kick people. Um, to give a short list of for the community that watch this, for, to give a short list of what is considered a valid vote kick, any uh, anything to do with cheating or any specific types of cheat. So if you vote kick someone for cheating, that's fine. If you vote kick someone for ESP, silent aim, aim bot, that's fine. Um, but only if you genuinely think or can prove that they are cheating. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, I would advise go ahead and report on them. Yeah. In terms of people who kick for things like annoying or a too good or using a certain weapon, say if someone's running around with the USAS, which we have seen many vote kicks oh for. <laughs> or the BG or for, for some for, reason. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Vote kick for A12 or yeah. yeah. Um, you you will get moderated. Yeah. It, we we do not allow those vote kicks. I'm probably and, not the. Yeah. The only one with that question does behaving bad in chat, like bypassing Roblox TOS or uh, not being kid friendly in chat, uh, validate a vote kick? Or yes. yeah, it does. Yes, if you uh, are, if you are, if someone is intentionally breaking Roblox TOS, go, you can go ahead and vote kick them. Um, and uh, we would also heavily advise reporting them for that. I mean, all uh, it takes just, is a screenshot. I would do that. Yeah. Or um, about. Through the through the you know get slash, slash reporting game or use the stylus bot, they're both easy to do. So about reports, I've been really confused about the report com command in the game. You can slash report someone in game, and I wonder what it looks like on your side of things. Like, what happens when if, for example, I report someone? Um, no comments. No, all right. It's That's a fine. secret. We, we, cannot, <laughs> we, we so yeah, we cannot disclose anything about reports and our Okay. That's, That's totally fine. Yeah. What I can yeah, what I can say is that we do receive them and we do know. Okay. <laughs> That's all I will say. <laughs> all right. Well, country, do you want to bring up something else? I've I've said like three or four things that all right. like um, in a row now. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, just keep talking. <laughs> Okay, so also on the topic of community, so you guys see people, your job is to watch people talk and say things pretty much all day. Like that's your entire, you deal with that all day. Is yeah. there something you see that the community could do that would drastically improve their um, either kind of positive cohesion in, in general or kind of make their experience better? Because I'm sure there's a lot of bad habits people feed into, especially in the especially in the test place channel and things like that yeah oh, that's completely unnecessary and it could be pretty easily fixed if people just kind of did something to kind of help as a whole so i personally don't whereas i don't i don't look in test place channel mostly because of yeah, that stuff that is, in there. Definitely the source <laughs> that, that. that speaks to, like, to how bad i don't want to deal with that i'm out so i think they're a big um I think it's very vague already answers this one. That, that actually speaks a lot about how bad the issue is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, also, I also have 
pretty bad social anxiety, so I'm like, you you can probably you can like look up the amount of messages I have in um, the main channels of the Stylus Discord. It's not many. It's yeah. probably in the like I, it's probably around like 100. Which is ironic because like, yeah. you are one of the few people with me trying to keep the content creator chat alive. So that's actually quite that's quite the yeah. interesting yeah. polarization. <laughs> <laughs> oh the little star wars facts oh dude i love them yeah <laughs> i'm not into star wars but i love them it's so fun um, <laughs> going back to the question um could you repeat the question one more time just so i can answer it yeah fairly. so um is there something the community could do or even people on the individual level just to that could contribute to helping the community be just a little bit better or like a small changes to kind of make the community feel more um feel more as a community and not kind of like because people a tribal lot of time, system yeah it, tr it's kind of tribal sometimes where you fall mm -hmm. into camps of there's like competitive camps or these different things where it's like people versus devs it, it the community a lot of the time just fragments into um just these circles and some yeah. of them overlap some of them don't do you think there's a way people could kind of either personally or as a group help alleviate that a little bit and just kind of make everybody's lives easier from your honestly, experience honestly two words be respectful like yes. you know, yeah yeah it's known throughout the internet <laughs> no matter where you are on discord or in stylus or on the internet as a whole people can be dickheads oh, <laughs> people yeah. can be rude and disrespectful and horrible don't be one of them you know stylus uh we, there's always been a little bit of underlying toxicity and especially um with say for example the most recent movement update there's mm -hmm. been a lot more of that oh, especially boy. in places like the test place chat yeah um we as moderators can only do so much to combat that um sure we can you know we can moderate with toxicity we can tell people to stop doing saying certain shit that kind of stuff um but there is only a certain amount of, that we can that we can handle that we can do mm-hmm honestly just be respectful remember we're all we're all human at the end of the day we're all human we you know we all love we all have lives we all we're love all, the same all, game exactly yeah no matter what you think of the game we've all played it we all come back to it yeah it's you I, can't you can't escape it you're here forever <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you think you can't you leave. are trapped <laughs> you are trapped forever you can't leave another thing that i think is worth mentioning and this is just my um this is my philosophy on it, is that the developers are the one that made this game, so therefore they can do whatever they want with it. Mm -hmm. And mm. whatever they do with it, I don't have a problem with them doing it because at the end of the day, they have every single right to literally do whatever the hell they want. They, I, they I wanted totally to add, that. If they wanted to add a pay-to-win nuke that blew up the entire <laughs> server, including your teammates, <laughs> and made it like 10,000 Robux, they can do that. Now, yes, I would have problems with it, but I also wouldn't, you know, be outright flaming them for doing that. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's their game. They technically haven't done anything wrong. It's their passion project, yeah. guys. Exactly. And, They've been working um, on this since they were, they were kids. I do think that exactly. goes the same way with community. Like, you are allowed to be unhappy with a change or something like that. But seriously, like, don't... The, the devs are people. They're not the perfect AI. Give constructive that's, criticism. Yeah, don't like the test place chat is it's Mad Max. Like there's the second <laughs> two people literally, say literally. something, it just becomes a mob mentality of absolute hate. It's like you're gonna execute a French monarch or something like that. Like you're allowed <laughs> to be upset, but you seriously just if you're gonna if you're gonna type something that angry, take five minutes and then come Whoa. back. I executed French monarch. <laughs> How dare you? God damn it, Vanguard. You're going to start World War Three. Do as we say, not as we do. <laughs> no, but yeah. If you're upset what, what? about something, take five minutes and then come back to it. Don't send it. Take five minutes, come back to it. If it's worth saying, odds are you'll, you'll end up wanting to say it again but a lot of the times just that five minutes will help you cool down enough to mm. realize it's not necessarily worth saying yeah when it comes to the developers i can't speak on behalf of them but i can communicate uh part of what has been asked of me and that mm. is um 
put simply, they don't like the toxicity. It's oh, the ones yeah. who, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious anyway. Um, but, you know, it's the ones who made the game, who created the community. I mean, come on. Leto and Shay, I don't know if you've noticed. Stiley, oh, yeah. L for uh, Leto and S for Shay. It, it, their initials are literally in, you know, the organization's name. Mm. Yeah. As the ones who made the community and the game, it is quite demoralizing. Um, and so they, they, they do want to combat that as much as they can. Yeah. What I will say is use the suggestions channel. Remember to follow yes. the rules now, obviously, but use the suggestions channel if you have an issue with something. Communicate to us. That's it. it just communicate. All you have to There's do no is ask for permissions for that channel, and then you can post your ideas. You don't need exactly. to. And you don't need to flame someone in the public general chats and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and and exactly. again, if you do use those channels, be respectful. There always. are rules, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are rules. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> On that, right. to be fair, the rules aren't that tight. It's, it's oh like, no, yeah. yeah, it's more guidelines. This, this server, <laughs> yeah. this especially the stylish server, um, I feel like after being on Discord for what almost ten years now, like eight years, this server has some of the some pretty loose rules, some pretty respectable moderation. Um, it's basically use common sense. Yeah, like. If 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 you're being annoying, if you're being a dick to everyone, if you're if you're spamming, of course you're gonna get muted, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, as a whole, Silas Discord has really really nice moderation. I feel even the bots, like even the bot, if you say something bad, it'll just delete the message. You're not getting muted. You're not getting warned. All that stuff. It's like, oh, you said something bad. Bye yeah. bye message. I mean, it's oh, mm. the bots are wonderful. Both yeah, Galactic it's so UA nice. And the Silas bot, they're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. I, I I use Galactic in my own server just to fuck around. Oh, dude, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mention that server. Yeah, we don't. Oh, no, we can mention it. It's, oh. it's where um, it's where we have stuff very happy. All right. <laughs> I see a question in the list that we've written down that right. actually reminds me of something you said earlier. Go Earlier, ahead. Vanguard, you said that being a staff actually helped you enjoy the game more because of all the staff weapons you have access to. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think the game could benef benefit from more gun diversity or more gimmick guns? Like, for example, the ones you have in, in admin. Like, yeah. or the let's not just or different let's like not that. consider how overpowered they are. Like. They're do fun. you think do you think the game could benefit from more silly stuff like that? Um yes, honestly, yeah. Um I I love all the gimmicky guns that we have like like the boxy for example. Yeah. Um even the zip, oh. the zip isn't super practical. Oh, but the, the, it generates yeah. so much content and so much <laughs> interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you practically um, get vote kicked every single time you kill someone with it. Yeah. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> you really so do. <laughs> um See, it's it's a bit of an it's a bit of an awkward question to answer because in short, yes, and I would love to see more gimmicky guns and uh, mm -hmm. just guns overall in the game. Um, although we do have uh, like hundreds in the game already. Oh yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> it's it's important to remember to remember though that this game uh, was made on the basis of um, it's similar similar in the sense to like Battlefield. Yeah. Um, mm. We have two teams fighting against each other, like capturing points and keeping mm. keeping a certain point TDM that kind of shit. Um, a lot of people call it like Lego card, which is yeah. fair enough. Um. It, it, it's, it's, it's like the, a lot of the guns are meant to be realistic. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, when it comes to implementing them and stuff, and actually modeling and creating them, balancing, that is all contributor stuff, which um, I do not really. I talk to them contributors, but I don't really and it, like do much with them. I'm not a modeler or okay. balancer myself, so that's a question better for them. But in short, yes, I I love the gimmicky guns. I mean, the gold hawk is beautiful. This mm -hmm. thing is incredible. <laughs> oh boy! Fucking, I mean, this is this is an SCL uh, winner thing. Um, but the the flame, there's a bunch of different ones that are really cool. Um, what I would love to see is um, game modes. 
Yes. We oh, have yes. we have more demos. We have Gun Game. Yep. And we have um fuck what was the one? Gun we Game have? Stab. Yeah. Uh, Juggernaut doesn't yeah. work, but that would be cool. Um, yeah. Swap stuff like that. Duel. Yeah. Now, obviously, at some point, these have all been in main rotation, but I would love to see, specifically in ones like Gun Game, where you sw where you swap guns and stuff, um, the ability to add mod weapons, these yep. what we call super tester weapons, Ooh. to those. Now, the very last weapon that you use is one of them in Gun Game. It is Lorata, mm -hmm. which is the golden zip. Um, the railgun's also scattered in there sometimes. It is, but it's very rare to see. Yeah. I would love yeah, to see, you're like, not yeah. Very often. I would love to see like the M forty one A or the Diamond HK fifty one B in there. Mm, um, that'd be a lot of all, fun. Oh yeah, they are all gimmicky guns, and I love them so much. Uh, there you go. There's the M forty one. But yeah, it, like I say, in short, yes. The actual implementation and creation of them—that's a contrib question. Oh yeah. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, of course. All right. I think also it's also important as if like if the developers actually want to. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like that, right? Yeah. Um. Cause at the time that you know you don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to no. undermine their their input on it. Like yeah. uh, like recently I I asked to, <laughs> I asked in the suggestion channel to add the AK fifty, <laughs> and it became like it quickly <laughs> became one of the most upvoted uh, upvoted sub sub suggest God got suggestions in there. I got it, and um. I talked with Little Cinnamon about it a bit, and uh, he, you know, we had a chat, and he realized it wasn't really fit for the game. There's there's already like a few guns that are very similar to it, mm -hmm. and even though it would be fun to have it in there, the implementation of it would not really add a lot to the game as a whole. Whoops. Yeah, I, th I think that so. if they add the AK-50, they should have it. They should give it a fifty percent chance to explode every single time you pull the trigger. <laughs> Well, if we're going that route, we got some things to say about the Zip Twenty Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I agree I with think... that. The AK Fifty would be it'd be fun, but it would just be another N One Hundred Seven situation. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I refrained from putting it in suggestions. Is because as much as it would be cool, it would just be it'd be repetitive on the issues with the M One Hundred Seven. Hmm. Oh, one thing I will say, by the way. Um, if I, if I may if I may stand up and head towards the camera that I hope I'm in front of the camera. Uh, turn <laughs> a step to the right. Yeah, that'd be, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere over here. Yeah, somewhere over um, here. The automatic BFG does not exist. As someone who has <laughs> access to every single weapon in the game, it does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I have to say. You're not getting an M2. I've actually Sorry. never heard about that. Maybe not. A bunch of people in the community claim that the BFG, uh, that the fucking automatic BFG exists. I have oh, wow. never seen it in the game. I don't know whether it's previously been in the game. It does not exist right now, though. I can tell you that much. I mean, oh. there's the AK-12BR in uh, in in 55 millimeter. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> y'all. It's bigger than 50 cal, guys. With how much people complain about the BFG, you'd think it was full auto or something. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They should add a yeah. uh, a twenty millimeter um, auto cannon to the game. Oh, <laughs> oh mate! Just like Fortnite oh, well. mounted turrets, what could go wrong? Yeah, just like the one in Helltime. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> so fun! That's so fun. <laughs> no, add the rail oh, cannon oh. strike from Helldivers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, they Stop did the, the five hundred kg. They could do it. It kills the kills yeah, the highest one day. player on the highest level player on. It's the just map. a blue shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's great. <laughs> All right, we can lead into a topic that you'll want to talk about, Kita. So uh, we'll start. Yeah, with the, we'll start with the written down question, then we'll finish it with you. We'll finish the topic with yours, if you agree with that. Uh, or do you want to yeah, start with course. yours? No, no, no. You you can go, man. Okay. <laughs> so you, this is even more applicable now. How much uh, Vanguard? I know you got recently. Uh, upgraded to or promoted to a uh, content creator admin did you have much experience kind of with the content creators previously or how much experience did you have before i asked this question so let me correct you on one thing i'm not specifically a content creator admin okay dev yeah nope. dev is still your specific admin okay. um but I do have, um, technically, I do have handling in CC now. Right. Um, but even as a support team leader, um, 
I uh, I remember putting a message in you guys' channel just saying, hey, I can do this now. Yeah, okay. So um, I, I just misinterpreted that as you being the CC admin then. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not I'm not technically directly, but I can, I can do stuff for the CCs. Okay. Um, sorry. So you've still <laughs> yeah, got experience in it again. then? Like, yes. You know, okay. So have you, obviously there's been a downshift in... Um, the amount of people making content and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, what have you personally noticed from on an individual level with each uh, creator in terms of like passion for the game or genuinely caring for the game or their community or just pe content creators as a on the individual level? Have you noticed a major change in their personal connection to the game or to people? Have you noticed it? Because I don't have any experience in the past with how they were and I still don't watch anything. I, I'm completely disconnected from uh, like the PF YouTube side and everything like that. Mm. Have you seen a downshift or upshift or kind of like a neutral stance on how they treat the game or how they treat the people that play the game? So in terms of, this is going a little bit off, but in terms of, uh, I suppose, the amount of content itself, there is less from some people than I would like to see um others there is plenty mm -hmm. in terms of the content itself i've always noticed that um uh yeah content content creator videos and streams whatever have always been surrounding what the community uh, like what the community's current stance on certain things are or what the community wants to see that kind of stuff yeah um take for example i'm currently just scrolling through the creator content yeah we can hear that <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me scrolling oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Everyone's fine. Fine. Um, don't worry about it so like Strider posted, it's finally out, the new Fanta Forces update. Mm -hmm. um, Fanta posted stuff about the Keybinds update. Um, There's a lot of update stuff. Yeah, Stry exactly, yeah. It was sur especially surrounding the new, um, uh, la the, the latest movement update. Yeah. Uh, Strider posted one saying Stylus is about to kill Phantom Forces. Um, with that one especially, a lot of people um agreed on that saying the you know stylus is basically fucking over the entirety of phantom forces it's it's, it's always been like that um <laughs> but it's, it, it? not 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 like stylus has been trying to fuck over oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's not what i meant i meant more I, I meant um creator content has always been surrounding what the community's current stance or uh, what they want to see is um i, I mean that's how you get views huh it is. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's common sense that that's yeah. what most yeah. content creators will make uh, videos about. But I mean, it works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but is it, with every update, it's always been like that. Have you noticed yeah. uh, a shift in the quality of the content, maybe? Um. So, funnily enough, I don't actually watch that much content. Uh, that much. Um, mm. PF content. Fair. In fact, the the last video I like kind of watched was um, it wasn't your podcast. It was a video before that. Um, oh, the news. Right. Yes, the PF news, dude. I fucking can I just say by the way, props to this man right here. His, his yeah news videos especially are incredible. Well edited and they're beautiful. Like genuine. I fucking love them. I <laughs> you you I you, watch you that, yeah. You were a great addition to the to the content creators team. Nah, country uh, country is a. Uh, I feel I feel so a... out of place most of the time. <laughs> so it's like Dude, everybody's country. so ah, professional. I'm just over here like you are hey. a breath of fresh hair of fresh air for this I'm game. A breath of fresh hair. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you're a breath. You're a breath of fresh air for this game. It's crazy how much content has been focused around meta or drama or updates and stuff. And you're 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 here trying to add your your humor to the bunch and trying to make actual content out of the game that's not it directly dependent on what the devs put inside it you're ready to create you're ready to make stuff that you like and that you think that people will like i see you running away by the way uh but as i was saying <laughs> you are really really great and instead of making your Instead of making this is X best build for Y gun, you're ready to just create a whole sketch around something and flesh it out. It's amazing, man. I think 
I honestly I don't know what I just know. witnessed. I, no, I don't know. Either. I don't handle compliments well, so that was me doing whatever I could to ch- keep my mind away from being complimented. Um, and that also gears perfectly into pretty much your Kita. You're probably one of the most like you're probably the only content creator right now that I think 110 percent cares about the game and the community completely. Like you are mm. genuinely the most like the most wholesomely caring person for this game that I think I have ever seen on making PF videos and stuff like that. Because everybody wants it for um personal gain views or people have a lot of negativity about it. You you are never ceasing to care about this game and the people in it. I mean, I got free time in an outlet. Why would I not be positive about it, you know? Yeah. I I actually spent a lot of my time browsing YouTube for like recently uploaded videos to just watch what people are saying which what people are are uploading and i'm looking for for creators that are maybe too small to reach an audience or that Mm -hmm. actually don't know about the whole discord community and uh i'm trying to introduce them to it and i think it's it's helped a lot of people so far yeah i think i i genuinely i've been playing this game for what 10 years now i really care about it and um I also empathize with the developers. I try not to bash them at all. You know, if there's something I don't like about the game, I just, sure, I don't like it. It's not for me. But yeah. it's it's really not the dev's fault, you know? It's it's their passion project. I've seen them work on this since they were literal kids. And uh, it's amazing to see how, how big it got. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to spread the positive positivity. <laughs> I mean, I okay. So the content that I make is like I just I just make random memes out of everything. That's the way to go. (laughs) Yeah, I just I'm just trying to because I I think it's funny and I think other people will find it funny. And even Mm -hmm. if they don't find it funny, then their stupid comments on the end on the on the video is even more funny. Like it's just I'm just doing this to get laughs out of people. Yep, all that matters is making people happy. Yeah. Uh, so if any of you guys have ideas for memes you want me to make, freaking let me know. <laughs> like I've been trying to figure out what to do next. I just haven't had any. Uh, I haven't had any ideas. Yeah, I I I am not ever. I am not fluent in memes anymore. <laughs> like, my friends you're will getting say, old man i know i be every day i become i hit 20 and i hit the there was a two at the beginning of my age and all of a sudden i became a boomer i don't understand what it was <laughs> <laughs> like every single day i feel older and older here i'll send you one of the things i made i'll, I'll send it after the <laughs> all right dude i feel i feel that 20 year old comments i feel like, like uh... i genuinely have back pain Granted, I ride a motorcycle, but I genuinely have back pain. <laughs> yeah, turning Dude, one day Vanguard's gonna just made a difference. Yeah, one, you're thing, gonna, one day you're gonna have a muscle spasm and have to like <laughs> stop riding your bike. <laughs> Dude, I will be so upset. One thing I will country, say. It's, uh... Oh Go on. no, you talk. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. One thing I will say about um, uh, one one thing I miss is that w- when was the last time you guys saw Leto stream? Uh, I have I've never quarter. seen him actually stream. Have. Yeah, it, it's been it's been quite a while. Um, I've only tuned into like one of his streams, but honestly, I would love to see Leto just sat down just coding. Um, I would also that would really like that cool, actually. Yeah. yeah, it just just being able to chat to him in yeah. in uh, in Twitch chat as well. Um, I think uh, I think when it comes to that, he remember what I said earlier about um. Uh, the community kind of uh, making uh, making like life hard. Feel. Yeah, um, I, I think I, I do think the community's response to recent events have um, and recent updates have kind of made him lose um, uh, kind of like the feeling to want to stream that. Oh yeah, Which, honestly, I do kind of miss. I, I Plus, really want to try and get him on here so at least he knows like there's some people who genuinely want to hear his opinion, have somewhere to talk, mm. kind of know. I I can maybe help you with that. I had a really good talk with him during like in the midst of the um, movement changes and everything. And I got to actually kind of like know what was going on through his head. And you are 100. 
like I am 100% with you on the community has definitely killed that poor man's passion for a lot of things. Because mm. Leto's a lovely guy as well. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, was yeah, super yeah. nice to talk to. Yeah. On his streams too, he was always just super chill. You could ask him questions and he'd answer. As long as you're not a dick about it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. all mods are... all Not mods. All, all developers are really, really nice. You oh, just, yeah. If as long as you're resp respectful and like actually try and chat with them, guys, it's 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 fine. You can talk with them. They they're so open to talking too. Yeah, he just he oh, yeah. responded to a random DM I sent, so he's clearly a he's clearly not some <laughs> jaded kind of <laughs> stay off my lawn sort of situation. That's not me saying DM them. Yeah, don't don't don't. don't. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Don't 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 DM them. Don't spam the the developers, Lost. please. But yeah, they're they're really nice. Yeah, I would be, I would absolutely <laughs> love to have them. I'd absolutely love to have them on here. Are you are you okay? Yeah, Blast just told me to look in a look in a channel that you guys. Oh God, see. you guys are like uh, you're like a the teacher the the students during class fucking sending <laughs> memes to each other. <laughs> yeah, um, there is something I wanted to talk about. I talk about it with everyone in the community yeah. because uh, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of passionate about it. No, I can, um, I, I'm with you. I'm go with for you. it. We talked about content creation, and um, I feel like there's a big disparity between the effort people need to to put on different platforms, depending on on uh, on where they what platform they use to get the content creator perks. You're saying benefits. YouTube is easier. Yeah, it's what I, what I'm saying is. Twitch seems a lot harder to get content creator perks from than YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know if there's any reason behind that, or if it's a, uh, I don't know. Are you, are you talking about like the um the requirements? To the get requirements, yeah, yeah, specifically because YouTube asks for like what YouTube 1, is thousand subscribers, subscribers. Twitch is two thousand followers. Like those are very very different metrics to try. And oh, mm. This is still the old one. Sorry, I, yeah. I'm just pulling up the wrong kind of boat. I'd imagine it's just antiquated, but because like. I, I say I that because I've been streaming for like what two months now, almost daily, Something like, like that, three yeah. hours and a half per day, and I honestly don't see myself getting any content creator benefits before almost like a year or it's two years. Because you're not making now. YouTube videos, dude. Come on. Yeah, I know. Come on. I'm bad well, at that. Let's take a look at the Twitch ones right now. So um, I can I can give you some advice. advice. Twitch like, is like with that? like. Uh, average that, viewer yeah. count plus two thousand followers or something. I thought and it was five thousand total channel month. views. It is so it's two thousand followers and five hundred total channel views. We can I can definitely talk to Dev and revisit. I them. I talked to Dev already about it. What did she say? Uh, I will pass this to the higher ups. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I'll look into it. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. That's that's word for word it's what gone. she said. Sorry, buddy. I can I can talk to her about that. Go, go on, boss. What were you going to say? Um, so, I want to see, like, a lot of, like, um, like, Tarkov streamers do, is they, you know, they stream or whatever, and then they also, they have stream highlights yep. on their YouTube mm. channel. So you could try doing that, try and get traction on YouTube, mm. while also, like, making, not having to make separate content, right? Because it's, it's one thing, you know, making, you know, streaming three plus hours a day, and then making a, like, a, some other video right yeah. mm. whereas you could just take your content that was in the stream take the highlights of it and upload a 10 15 minute video to yeah. youtube of just like the funny crap that happened on stream or and just like haha yeah. -ha, funny um <laughs> I, I got i got called an idiot by this rank one yeah. whatever <laughs> like <laughs> Well, and you're you know? going for FT300 records, so it wouldn't be hard to pull. You're it wouldn't be hard to pull. That. All right. So <laughs> no, going kidding, for kidding. a BFG kill record. Um, <laughs> there's, there's no reason I've got this equipped whatsoever. <laughs> there's no reason like, he talks well, about it every single stream and uses it every single stream and bases his life choices around it every single day. <laughs> it's been two months and I still got two months to go, man. <laughs> yeah, you could pretty easily do videos even related to that. Just wouldn't take FT300 grind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I definitely think it's massively easier to get YouTube content creator over Twitch content creator. I think that does probably help push away a little bit of people from wanting to do Twitch. Mm. Cuz it it just doesn't feel attainable compared to YouTube. 
I feel like the community on Twitch is also a lot more active, like in the whole community. I don't know. People on YouTube often just stumble in your, on your stream because it wasn't their recommended page. But people on Twitch are actually like really lively and active in the server and in the community, and they know a lot about their stuff. I think it's, I think it's a little bit harder to find and to find and keep new people on Twitch. A yeah, little that's bit harder. totally true. But because PF, in my opinion, is a very YouTube centered game. Like it, the Twitch, the, the Twitch community for PF is a dying breed, and a lot of them come from the YouTube, like come from YouTube side anyway. I I think mm. it's I think it's very unbalanced to have a higher follower count for the platform that's harder to grow on with this game. Is it really high then? Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's twice. It's twice as high. YouTube's a thousand subscribers, which subscribers are already easier to get than followers. Like easily. Yeah. And and then Twitch is two thousand followers, so Yeah, it must be at two yeah, at least two videos. Yeah. But it's all three hundred views. Okay. YouTube YouTube is very easy to get and keep. Yeah. I can I can definitely talk to <laughs> about that. <laughs> that would be nice, man. Yeah. Sorry no. for uh for that that whole rant thing. No. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I I know that after summer I'm not gonna be able to stream as much, so I'm just hoping. Maybe I'm just coping. Maybe Ho- just, I'm just huffing and up. coping. True, bro. Taking copium. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I I I'm on Discord. I I have a plenty, a huge supply of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. I mean, hey, if you need a large supply of copium, just look in test place chat. Like, yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Do we have any other topic we want to talk about, country? Oh, yeah. Um, we probably should have talked about... The, it would have made more sense when we were talking about guns and stuff, but do you guys personally... We'll go down the line. We'll start with Blast and then go to Vanguard. Do you guys personally have a gun you think is the worst in the game? Because I, I would really like <laughs> oh, to no. know. Best is it's always hard for people to choose best, especially with changes happening all the time. But usually, worst gun can be pretty ubiquitous. Can be pretty best, you say? Okay, I'm gonna F5. Um, FT300 is not, best, it's not the best, Kita. It's not the best. The M1903 I mean, outperforms it. Um, it yeah, I mean, recently, so I have over a thousand kills on almost every single primary in the game. That was kind of how I kept my uh interest in the game for so long mm-hmm. um so i'm pretty familiar with all these weapons and honestly <laughs> there are quite a, there are quite a few of them that are pretty bad um at least at the time the ak-105 was kind of kind of trash yeah that changed really real quick oh, that changed <laughs> yeah. radically that, that, to 180. <laughs> that, that did take a 180 um there was also the uh the SCG is not nearly as good as it used to be, for whatever reason. Um, it's a recoil is just freaking weird. It's now, still, it's, I'd say it's still decent, at least. If you can control the recoil, then you're fine. Yeah. But I remember the uh, the BWC9A or whatever it's called. The mm-hmm. Glock? Uh, that, the Glock with like a conversion, conversion kit conversion on it. Kit, yeah. yeah. That thing is honestly not great. <laughs> I I actually I got it for ninety nine percent off in the shop, and I I actually think it perform it, it's a pretty decent little. It's system. okay. I don't think it, it. I don't think it justifies the level, like the level you unlock. Oh it, yeah, but absolutely. I definitely don't think it's a. Kind I of mean, compared gun. to the other SMGs, I don't think I think it's that's, definitely yeah, in the that's lower. True. Yeah, that's fair. I think it's definitely in the lower tier. Um, There's not really any advantages to using it. No, mm. honestly, the MP5K slash ten is just better in every yeah. way. Like better range, better damage, better fire rate. Like the god, the MP7 with its pen stats. Yeah, or the P90. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you, you know, you could say the zip, but like everyone's gonna say. Yeah, that's kind of cheap. Yeah, is <laughs> that is that twenty two long rifle LMG? I forgot what the name is. The, oh, the MGV. That stupid thing with the. With like the don't you dare insult the B gun. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Don't you dare. That, yeah, we have a super tester variant of that. That sucks. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's called the uh, it's called the Hornet. It has one extra damage. Whoa. Uh, 
and it has <laughs> like I don't know, like forty more rounds. It's just a. 300. I thought it had three hundred. I thought it had three hundred rounds in a mag. It does, but the MGV has like two forty. I think. I thought it was one. It, it has one one sixty. Oh, it's like double then. Either way, it's just a three hundred round MGP. Oh, that sounds fun. It does. It's not good. Oh, it's not okay. It's, it's not you good. have to hit every single shot to the head in order for yeah. it to actually kill in a decent like. Mm. In order for it to have a competitive TTK, it's not. What about you, Vanguard? Do you have a gun you think is the worst in the game? So, um, I primarily, whenever I play, I primarily use the super tester weapons, the mod guns. Fair. Um, mm. Which is just, I like them. Honestly, this one. <laughs> it's, Bla Blast knows this. The gold. Oh, that one's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So, un unless you load another round, it has two. Okay. Um, mm. two, two, two things, that's it. Um, it used to shoot Dragon's Breath. Oh! This, this, was, this was the Dragon's Breath gun. Now, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it's Whoa, that, it wasn't I, Dragon's Breath. I it wasn't looking at my screen, the there was just a big flash. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> oh, got that. it's got pretty fast muzzle velocity, but it's just it's just the shorty gold. Mm. That's it. Uh, um, out of all the supercessors, that's my like least favorite. Even worse um, than the underbarrel alien gun, like the underbarrel shotgun. Oh wait, shotgun's not actually that horrible. Mm. That one's not bad. Out of well, all the regular weapons, the yeah. MG3. Interesting. <laughs> it used to be so good, and now it's, KWS. It's just it's actually gonna get buffed next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Ooh. thing's pretty terrible now. The recoil was. It was. I think it was. Who was it working? I, uh, it was Bree. Vic? Bree was working on it. Bree. Oh, yeah. He's got some buffs to it. It's it's yeah. it's gonna feel fresh actually, and this this gun has been abandoned. Yeah, I have, I've I've used it a little bit recently. It's it's surprisingly fun to just slap anti aircraft irons on and just gun people down with. <laughs> uh. I have like a, a better idea, a more concise idea for this for this kind of question. Is there a gun category that you think is underperforming? No. If I don't <laughs> think there's one that's underperforming yeah. in terms of like how good they are in the game. I think if there's one that's not used nearly as much as the others, it's battle rifles. Like yeah, the, that's fair. I, battle rifles. Honestly, fair. I don't see uh, anyone using was, battle rifles. Yeah. Yeah, that's I fair. was gonna say carbines, but since the AK one hundred five buffed, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say if you exclude the automatic ones, the shotguns, but yeah, but the shotguns get yeah. used a lot. In they... only certain maps, though, it's very like uh, actually, dependent on the map. I've seen a resurgence in rem in Model Eight Seventies being used recently. Actually, <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, you can point that. Yeah, out. it's got good damage, low spread. People are good starting firing. to appreciate it. I don't know. I haven't played the game properly in a while, so <laughs> I, I am firmly stuck on the GB22 hate train. I despise that gun, and I will never. I love it so much. <laughs> I like the GB50. I hate the GB22, which it's is probably my terminal gun, skill issue. But I, love it. But I, hate I like using thing. the shotgun conversion on. It. I think it's funny. That that is pretty good. I pretty much all the pretty much all the conversions for that gun are great. I just hate the default version of it. All right. Uh, I think that topic ran dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else? Uh, I don't really know if it's all that important to ask. All things considered, it's probably not. Do I you, I uh... have I asked on my stream my viewers that I was gonna have an interview with you guys and if they had a question for you guys, and the most popular one was, do you guys know about slash can talk about? an update slash a feature that's pretty interesting that probably the community would like that probably no one knows about? Um, or is that not something you're allowed I've... slash no? I mean, it's not that we're not allowed, but it's... there isn't... No. <laughs> ah, all right. But, but simply, we're, we're, we're just as much in the dark about updates and stuff as the community is. I think if you're going to ask anyone, you want to ask the contributors about that. Yeah. yeah. So ah, they, I see, I see. they deal directly well. with... All right, game. country next week, contributors? Yeah, I actually think next week is contributors. <laughs> oh. It should it should be Bree and two others. And it should be Bree Duo and Vic, I think. Oh god, three people. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hey, to uh, be fair, they're all lovely people. Yeah, Duo, oh, you'll, be, uh, you'll be fine. Duo wanted to double feature on this one, but I figured it'd be easier for talking points if he was just on that one. So we could have had three people twice in a row, but he's excited for it. 
<laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> he was actually uh, we, we, me, boss, and him were signed VC uh, early, and he, he was actually talking about it because I said, um, oh, I, I reminded myself saying, oh, me and me and boss have a me and boss have a date with uh, Keith's own country letter. <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, I've got one too next week. And he was yeah. like, ah. Oh. I hate that you use that word. <laughs> Why do you hate it? Yes. Why do you hate it? <laughs> It's okay. Why would I want to go on a date with Vanguard, bro? It's, it's like, okay. come on. No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's okay. It's, 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 it's I thought you'd pull the, the, the okay. their YouTubers card. <laughs> 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 no stay, no stay. They think they're better than us. <laughs> no I mean, stay. Technically, I'm here. a YouTuber too. So, like, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> content you know creators what? getting free credit requests. They think they're better than us. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Do you guys have anything that you wanted to talk about or yeah, bring you, up that we haven't do discussed? Do you guys or? have topics? Um, I didn't. Could be. Yeah. Uh, I I came at heavily unprepared for this. So. No, that's fair. So, <laughs> so I, I figured down, that if I, I had wrote a... down these questions two hours before, so <laughs> <laughs> I figured that if I had a topic that it was probably going to delve into something that we couldn't talk about. So no. Uh, well, I will. Uh, feel free to DM me, and I'll tell you if we can talk about it. No, I, it wasn't even anything that I had. I was like, oh. I'm. I was like, ninety percent certain that if I was to come up with anything, it'd just turn into something that we couldn't talk about. Yeah, mm. he's just gonna. He wants to bring up state secrets. <laughs> I suppose if there was one question I was to pose to the two of you and to the community as a whole is, would you like to see more from the mods in terms of moderation itself? And if so, what would it be? And would it be, you know, in game? Would it be server? Well, wow. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more opinionated answers in the comments than we're going to currently have. But I, honestly, <laughs> yeah. I honestly I, think I, it's I, good. People in the comment, what would you like to see from the community? People in the uh, comments, uh, why was your ban for cheating unjustified? And tell me exactly <laughs> no, no, why. No, 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 don't stop on that, no. please. It's engagement. Like, Give it to um, me. Actually, tell me exactly something. 500 characters or less. <laughs> there is something I would really appreciate from the the game moderation team because I I really appreciate the community and the people in it, and I feel like the game moderators aren't exactly very active in the public community they're more like split with uh smaller sub communities or they talk to each other a, a lot more i've heard and i would really enjoy it if we had like maybe just weekly like uh mega server events where like uh there was an event in the discord server telling people to join the 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 test mega server or the what's it called there's like a hundred player server and we just have a community night there like on on Saturdays or something, it would be really really fun. We could we could definitely do more. I I just think it's really that. difficult to coordinate something like that between our staff members because we know we have people from different time zones. We have people, yeah. that, you know. Mm. I I know for me, my work schedule is it's it's screwed up. It's like <laughs> it's like literally all throughout the day. It's like um. Which is fine for me because I'm kind of like a night owl, but yeah. Um, and Vanguard doesn't freaking sleep. But yeah, it's, <laughs> oh boy, it's nearly one a.m. here, but you know it's fine. Yeah, just he doesn't, even he doesn't group, go to sleep until like six a.m. some days. Because good grief, I, I I know there are yeah. some some moderators that play a lot. Um, I think what comes to mind is like Jess. I I've Wait. I've I've talked a sorry. lot with Jess. Oops. Sorry, sorry, Hold let on. me interject. You're uh, <laughs> yeah, it just went AFK. Camera left. I got so involved. I got so involved in the conversation, I forgot to click. So my camera account went AFK, and that means this next part uh, is going to be a little bit messed up because when it came back, uh, apparently the my OBS swapped sources, so it was recording like my perspective and not the camera. So anybody watching on YouTube, it may be different. Anybody listening, it's not going to matter. I apologize. Enjoy. But yeah, um, as I was saying before, technical, the technical difficulties. Issues. But as I was Steve has before, been executed. I, Philip has been hired. This is a different Philip, not Philip the car. I would love to see um, some more community events around in-game things. Um, country and I, I mean, mostly Country came up with a really, really fun, like a uh, pseudo game mode. Oh my gosh, it's so fun! Uh, where it's it's like stab, but it's a uh, it's actually more like a, a sport. Yeah, where uh, you gotta 
get people in the enemy's goal and stuff. It's it's really fun. It's so much fun. Oh, and, it gets yeah. so competitive. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it really does. One of your recent videos was that, wasn't it? I think it was yeah. a few videos yeah. back, yeah. Like the competitive stab openers, whatever it was called. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah. it's so, so fun. I would love to see that on a more uh, general community, like, point. Yeah, um, that'd be so fun. But other than that, I can't really think of a, of anything else because, I mean, there's not really a lot in the game to... No, actually, no, it could be fun, like a, a community night on a game mode that isn't in the rotation or on admin maps or something. That that could be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. 100 player so, gun game. Oh my god! So one thing I will say is that we don't require our staff, or at least game staff members, to... I, I don't know about Discord. I Vanguard, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't... I don't um we don't require our staff members to interact with the community they're allowed yeah, to if I... they want to they're allowed not to if they want to yeah, yeah. that's um, totally it's, fair. It's the same with server stuff yeah um and that was one of the things that i actually you know exercised quite often was the whole not interacting with the community things you know i didn't um I just preferred being behind the scenes doing mm. doing my job without having to deal with the, you know, bullshit of the community. Um, and it's going to happen in every community. But that was just, you know, one thing for for me that I like, you know, liked having. So mm. we I mean, don't, yeah. you know, we, we don't requ require them to interact with the community. And there are quite a few of them that, that have chosen not to. So I don't... Yeah, I I don't think people expect them to 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 interact with the community. Like I, God, I totally understand why you would not want to. You know, yeah. Um, I I'm just saying, if if there could be like weekly events, not not like including all staff, just maybe just one staff just goes on a uh, <laughs> goes rogue and and makes a a whole event. That that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. I think maybe trying it wouldn't be like too bad, but uh, I I don't know what goes on in 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 that staff. So that's um, just me, a YouTuber, saying something. Yeah, <laughs> I think that it's certainly it's certainly possible. Maybe, um, but I also don't know how plausible it is, right? Because mm. at the end of the day, everyone has you know their outside commitments, and yeah. you know there might be maybe there's one week where you know. Everyone can't do that, and I, obviously, you know that's fine. But I think it's—I um, don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. Mm. I just think that I don't know how. I don't how know how would we happen. would. Yeah, I don't know how it would happen. Yeah. Well, um, maybe just saying it would stir up something. So <laughs> we'll see later. I, I don't know about weekly events. That may be oh, yeah. too often. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't forget, especially on the administrative side, we are quite busy. <laughs> but, mm. We could definitely work out some kind of like monthly thing. I wouldn't mind hosting them myself. I have the ability to do so, so Ooh. why not? I mean, that would be in, amazing. Yeah, in Stylus Main, we have, um, I believe everyone can see this anyway, we have the event stage, which just, um, just oh, yeah, you do. Panel. Yeah, we can, um, we can isn't get that, some. Uh, isn't that move to archive? No, no, it's no, everyone can see it. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, it's, it's still up. The last time it was used, I believe, was the FAQ with, um, or the Q&A with developers that Wings hosted. Um, I believe that was the last one, anyway. That wasn't uh, was that? I don't that see was, it. No. That was months ago. <laughs> no, that was almost a year ago. Yeah, but we can, um, I can, we, 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 we can definitely work on that. We can, we can do that. Let's go. Uh, uh, <laughs> especially if um especially if you guys are willing to cooperate and help with oh like, yeah absolutely oh, yeah, we could absolutely yeah. try and help yeah we could definitely start off with your idea country that'd be that'd be super yeah. i can't even imagine how that would work with a large group of people yeah. that'd be chaos <laughs> <laughs> you can like you, you could stream it and stuff as well you know yeah. we could, you can get some content out of it from the content creator oh, side yeah. yeah um it'd be fun as well, put simply, <laughs> yeah. um, just you know, it's like just don't break the rules, you're fine, yeah. Well, yeah, and I mean, if you break, you do break the rules, we have moderators in there, yeah. so you'll definitely get punished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, watching you're, not, you. you're not escaping this time, he's holding the eye of Sauron in his right hand for a reason, <laughs> he'll definitely get slapped. Oh. 
But yeah, we could we could definitely do that. Yeah, that'd be Ooh. super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee. All right. I I think that's all I had to say. Yeah, I think I've got everything. <laughs> cool. That's fine then. <laughs> do you guys so. have uh, some uh, <laughs> closing words you want to say? Um, yeah, don't be a dick. Follow yeah. the rules. Be nice. <laughs> of course, the and, uh, if you don't, you'll get a 58 E to the face. Yeah, mate. Yeah, like me. Oh, in game, oh. in game, in game. You in shot game, like the game. one person. Oh, you in shot game. the one person least likely to break a rule. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's it's right, the plus, other way plus. around now. The Americans get shot. Yeah. Plus, this is this is a perfect time. Welcome to our stylist podcast. Cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> you guys are you guys are really funny. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, it's been fun being here though. It's been a nice little uh I don't know how long we've been here. It's, it's been a nice an hour and fifty minutes it's been recorded. two hours. Oh, the game has hour. been going for hundred and seventeen minutes. Jesus Christ. It's got my fast. We have to no edit. <laughs> yeah. Edit? <laughs> this is a podcast, bro. This is a podcast, dude. I can cut the video. <laughs>
country just gained everything. <laughs> I, I can see him. Why is that the model, cool. why is the external model for the Asmian MP7? Yes. Hold on. You are half right. No, it's I'm an MP7 right. with a stock. The MP7 has a stock. Listen, I don't use auto weapons, okay? I use snipers. <laughs> Does nobody want to sit with Kita? <laughs> yeah, Van Vanguard, come, come sit here. <laughs> They're just like, one, one I of you to jump on this one. One of, one of you come sit here. What? Watch it, Kutra, don't put something scared. No, it's okay. It's okay. He's not going to bite you. He's Canadian. He's nicer than you. It's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he's, no, he's, okay. he's French. You shouldn't have said that, Kita. That's He's British. He's going to be more scared of you. <laughs> No, actually, he's not scared of me. He just wants to kill me Kita, now. Wait, wait, wait. Who's Kita. French? We have to ban them right now. I, um, no one. No, shut up. Yeah, no one's French here. He, he can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I, I, it's not his fault. We get it, Vanguard. We get it. Where'd he go? Good. Oh. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. The real reason the Brits immigrate to America is to get farther away from the French. For real. Oh. I put it back up to one and bro just starts blasting his Wait, eagle. Sh should we just start threatening the camera and saying, like the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> like it. Left, Kita. Oh, here. Little bit right. The red cushion? Jeez, there's no, there's, there's no little, little bit left. There, perfect. All right. Blast, why were you why were you turning? I don't know. Am I, am uh, I looking you gotta right? look you gotta look left. Little bit more there. <laughs> the view on the oh, map okay. is really it's funny. right there. Yeah, just, the view on the mini just, just establish where you're what you're looking at and then that's where the camera because it's different. <laughs> the view on the mini map is really, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. POV, you're a political prisoner in Russia. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. Um, okay. Where? Huh? Where? Me plant. <laughs> he's <weak. laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. And God. Me plant. <laughs> Me photosynthesize. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you guys want to get started? Yeah, we can. All right. So... Country, you start us, and uh, we'll just go with the flow, I guess. What is okay. that noise? Sorry, that was my brain gears trying to shift in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you sure they weren't shifted in reverse? There's one direction, and it's only wrong. Dude, I love one direction. God <laughs> 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 this podcast is gonna be so. I mean, they're British, dude. There's, out. We got outtakes. <laughs> yeah, gonna, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna do outtakes at the end of it. Like, stay tuned to the end. Welcome back to the Back Map Podcast. Uh, today, we episode two. We have server staff Blasteroid and the. I'm new... not server staff. Whoa! All right, cool. <laughs> server staff. Thank Wait, you. Isn't that blue Game, name? Get... No. No. <laughs> no, that's game staff. That's game staff country. <laughs> I thought it was green. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm game staff, bro. All right, <laughs> outtakes. <Okay>. Rip. <laughs> it's for practicality. Your slave customization one. What? Oh, I thought you said what? slave customization. I was thinking, huh? No. Uh, <laughs> Vanguard, I told you to Come stop on, talking man. about that. Just because you're a colonizer doesn't mean you gotta talk. <laughs> Look, fuck 1776. That's all that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> War of 1812 was failed revenge, huh? <laughs> Look, look, look. Nowadays, I respect the sacking of Washington, D.C. Okay, <laughs> just back then, you know, wasn't cool. Now, though, you know, <laughs> do, your, do your own thing. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we know it's been twenty minutes now. <laughs> the the it's camera. Been minutes since he clicked. Clicked. Yeah, hold on. The camera's yeah. coming uh, back. <laughs> Technical Smart. issues, guys. Someone uh, hijacked the broadcast. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Enter the the the. <laughs> what's what's this guy? The 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 clown that got hijacked on TV. This is definitely going in the bloopers reel. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm in, a, I'm in a normal server. 
Oh god. Why did it put There's me in the normal server? Click enter on the link. It's like uh it's like when you join people on Roblox through their profile and it puts you in a completely empty server. I think I I think it put me into um... Oh, I just got kicked. <laughs> I knew you would I knew you'd get kicked too. <laughs> I I've, I was watching you and I was like he's not moving and he hasn't moved for Oh very no, it was freaking Vanguard, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I kicked him earlier for these hours. moderators, swear to God. <laughs> this is what the people happened? who moderate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah nah. Hey man. I'm They're the one good. who actually does I I manage the moderators, sort of. Oh god. Oh yeah, well I manage you, bitch. <laughs> uh, take it up with my lawyer. Uh, jokes on you, I am your lawyer. I was gonna say you got a no, lawyer. No, Knight's my lawyer. Oh god, I don't wanna talk to Knight. <laughs> country, yeah, what you, country, country. What you I'm should do in the in the in the final video is like put a blue screen and went and go like camera ran out of battery or something. <laughs> camera gave up on life. <laughs> Steve gave up on his job. He wasn't being paid enough. You know, Steve the cameraman, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find my glass. Steve the cameraman couldn't handle working for PF News oh. and the podcast. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm pulling. Out, I'm pulling out the joke gun. That's it. Right, where you at? Where you at, Frenchman? Where you at? I'm gonna have to where find you. me. Where you at, buddy? Let me turn on my ESP. Welcome quickly. back to the back that podcast. Wait, do admins have ESP? No, I wish. And then it was left to two of us. <laughs> They're busy killing each other. Oh my gosh, it's daytime now. That figures. <laughs> was it nighttime? Yes. Just go like a. Uh... We had to go for a few hours. Uh, totally. it's like, oh, steps I thought up. I thought you had a sparkler in your hand, but it was just the leaf from the plant. Everything. I did it now. again. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, one more, buddy. One more. One more. Yeah, I can. Oh. <laughs> I will murder. We have a murder scene right here. <laughs> there has been a murder. Someone, someone get it. Someone get the caution tape. <laughs> Someone get the chalk! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Camera's back. And everything's shinier and brighter now. We're professionals. Like? Hey, yo, Vanguard! Oh, there he goes. Yeah, right, we're professionals. Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> hey, he wasn't, he's not even French. Why'd you do that? Um, I don't like him. Because he's British? No. The fuck? <laughs> I fear there may have been a misunderstanding in our communications. <laughs> I'm not British. Yeah. Uh, no, you, you, no, you never know. All right. What? <laughs> oh. We don't talk about the British guys. Come on. Oh, is that so <laughs> half French? Blast just doesn't love it. Uh, have his British accent on right now. I'll take it off. But... You got to toggle that setting, Blast. Come on. <laughs> toggle American. You've got to not pronounce your T's. <laughs> hey, bro. Oi, bro. Oi, bro. You're going to Mackie Dag Notes. I'm just goofing around now. <laughs> well. Wow. Oh, my God. Vanguard, look at the fourth person in Hangout 3. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, is this are you guys about to see live moderation? Arnold? No, it's not Schreiner. not um live moderation. I just think that's that's so uh, yeah, funny. It's it's actually that is Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> this is actually. Arnold. Should I move in and then move him back? He, he's muted, bro. He wouldn't Blast even say pineapple. anything. I think you should move a uh, duo. <laughs> yeah, I can move duo. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> he's gonna go in the audit log and find your ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna message me in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The I I really like style of staff. Y'all are so Aww. cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think you guys are really now. not being treated fairly <laughs> by the community. Yeah, your life is a lot less when you get banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. I, I like Rai and how he... You almost did it, Vanguard. <laughs> Imagine you had him press the period. Huh? Yeah, that 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 was... Dude's mm. playing Gravity Roulette with five chambers kill, loaded. Oh, duo message me. Uh-oh. You'll find that the only time I um, say anything in general chat is if there's like a major controversy happening and the server's on fire. And I just start <laughs> posting memes in there. 
to, oh, <laughs> to alleviate. Down. I, I, I do that a lot, actually. I, I have so many fucking gifts that's like random Phantom Forces bullshit to just spread in chat when there's people just arguing. Guys, this argument's like really impressive, but have you seen this deer get hit by a car? <laughs> yeah. so I'm actually lucky. not allowed to post that. Away. I'm actually no! not allowed to post that in Stylus Main. No! I'm not allowed to post that in Gen Chat. Yeah, no, you you actually was can't told... post car accidents in in Stylus. It's not a car accident. I was told uh -huh. by three different admins not to post that. Well, I've got a I've got a perfect way to uh, to end this podcast if uh, if if we're ready. No, sure. I'm not. I'm not gonna oh. kill you, gun tree combat. <laughs> I, I may be pointing a five hundred round in front ammo gun at you, but I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hate you. How in <laughs> the world did you? <laughs> I don't know. This thing is kind of insane. Anyway, I've got a. It's oh! Yep, there, oh! There you go. oh! Oh no! <laughs> I was trying to hit Vanguard. What do you mean? Uh, actually, actually, I know, I know exactly why you keep hitting yeah. him. It's because you press F instead of pressing three, my guy. There we go. Look, <laughs> look, look in help, 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 help. He's been removed for cheating. <laughs> well, thanks for been, reporting. It's been it. lovely seeing you guys. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Quickly. Wait, was I actually banned? <laughs> <laughs>